going on vacation today, but our trainer, Roxanne, she sent us, she sent us a text this morning with our workout. And so we've got to do a mile run, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, uh, 100, shoot, 100 something else. I'll tell you guys later. And then finish off with another mile run. So I'm going right now to do my mile run and get this going. <laughs> I have the same spot that I always run to. It's a half a mile down and a half a mile back. So it works out perfectly. <clears throat> Quick, easy run to get warmed up. It's already hot out, it's about 8.45 and it's already probably in the 90s. Here we go. Alright, so just hit the half mile mark. Gonna head back up. The problem with living where I live or running where I live is that everything back home is all uphill. I know it's only a mile, but when you're going uphill, sometimes you gotta walk. So I try to, if I know I can't run it all straight through, I literally will almost sprint a block and then walk and then sprint a block and walk just for some like interval running. <clears throat> so you still get a good workout in if you don't feel like you can be jogging the whole way. I know it's only a mile, but I try to run at a decent pace, so I try not to go slower. All right, I am dripping. You know how it is when you're running, you're fine, and then all of a sudden you slow up a little bit, you come inside and you're just like drip, drenched, just dripping. So now, I forgot, it's 100 mountain climbers, so I've got to do 100 mountain climbers, 100 sit-ups, and 100 squats, and then go back out and run another mile to finish it off. So this sweat is after the first mile, so I wonder what I'm gonna look like by the time this is all done. You can totally see what my weakness is and I'm not gonna apologize for it. I got a big old gut that I got to get rid of. I might cheat a little on them, but hey, you got to get them done. Eighty, twenty more to go. Dad, where's the 
100. Now I'm gonna go finish up with the final mile run. Deja vu, here we go, second mile, finishing off the workout for the day. Then we're gonna get ready to go to Utah. Now it's even hotter than it was about 45 minutes ago, an hour ago, or however long it was when I ran the first mile. Definitely much hotter, but here we go. I'm getting it done. At the half mile mark right now, I'm getting ready to head back. Ran my stretch, now I'm walking my stretch. That's the thing with this whole working out thing. So many people think you gotta just jump right into it and you're supposed to be as good as you were 20 years ago. That's definitely not the case. All you gotta do is be consistent. Just wanna do it and be consistent and do it at your pace. And surround yourself with people who support you. Those are the things that I'm learning through this whole working out, YouTube process. Surround yourself with like-minded people. It definitely makes the journey so much easier. The last mile, done. All right, hey, what's up everybody? Yes, once again, we are in the car and we are headed to Utah again. So Braden gets done with his EFY church retreat thing um, Saturday. So we got to pick him up early Saturday morning at 7 a.m. So we are driving out today so that we can pick him up early on Saturday. And then we are literally going straight from Utah to Idaho to go see my family um, and visit with them for a little while. And we're just going to make a vacation out of it. That's right. <laughs> been living in this car yeah I just got on the wrong freeway no it's I, I can go this way actually uh, I'm getting off ah uh, crap dang it <laughs> oh man I don't know about you guys but anytime we go on vacation it is like pulling teeth to get, to get out, out the dang door like seriously I feel like I packed actually this time what a day early like not yesterday but the day before I packed early I had everything ready to go but there's always like those last minute things that you have to do to get ready to go so anyways we're not in any big hurry by any means so it's totally fine we're out the door it's like 1 30 in the afternoon however we do lose an hour in Utah so they it's actually like 2 20 in Utah right now so Anyways, we don't have any yeah, we don't have anything to do tonight really. So we're just gonna hang out at the hotel when we get there and stuff anyways. Um but yeah, it's another six hour drive and then from there to Idaho is another what four hours? Yeah, because we're staying minutes. we're gonna be staying like in a city just right outside of um, Provo. Right outside of Provo and what's it? Murray. Murray. Murray, Utah. Murray, Utah. So we'll be there for like a day and a half, which will be fun. So yeah, what? I finished my taco. Taco girl back there. Hi. Hello, you want to show everyone your baby? Your new bestie? My new bestie on my new shoes. This is um, Michelle Phillips, right there. Isn't she so cute? So she got that wait, with wait. Danny yesterday at the Can store. Something else? Okay, see it. Oh, cute little Binky for when she cries at night and keeps you up all night. We love Michelle because she was on clearance. Oh, <laughs> we love clearance <laughs> babies. <laughs> Hi. Uh, what? This is my baby. Oh, your fidget spinner. This is my baby. Nice. Ooh, Ethan got new shoes and new outfit. Doesn't he look stylish? And I know who that is. You know he's got to fix his is. hair. Wake I know who Dad's baby is. Who? You. Aw, is that true? I can't. Yeah, you hear that? I'm his baby. I I'm his them, baby. I tell them all the time when I'm driving with them. I just say, you know what? I love mom. Aww. I do. Ask them. Hmm. It's true. It's true? I did it today. He speaks the truth? Yeah, Aww. I even did it today with Elijah. Aww. That's so nice. Yeah, and what did Elijah say? He said, you know what? I love her too. Aww. Aww. Oh, I feel so lucky. 
Don't make me cry, guys. Not on the vlog. All right. I love you guys. You guys are the best. Okay, you guys. We'll see you soon. We'll give you some little snippets of our awesome drive. That's what's great about this vlog is you guys are going to see our trip in like a couple of minutes and we're going to be in the car for six hours. So <laughs> We'll probably go live on Instagram as well. Yeah, it's fun going live on Instagram when we're driving. You guys keep us occupied. So if you're not following us on Instagram, go follow us and check us out there because we're there all the time. All right, we'll see you guys soon. All right, one more thing I want to tell you guys. So I got this awesome text message for Brayden yesterday. He usually texts me at night just to like say goodnight to everybody. But last night he texts and he's like, Mom, today was the best day of my life. And I was like, oh, like that just like, oh, just made me so happy that he is just having the time of his life there. And he was just telling me that yesterday was like the most spiritual day. So and he said, Mom, I've never felt, felt the spirit so strong. And so I just made my heart so happy to hear him say that. And then um, he was talking about how hard it's gonna be for him to leave. They call it a company, so he's in a group and they call it a company. And he says like, we really just all love one another. And he's like, he is saying how it's gonna be super hard to leave all of them. So I'm just really, really happy that he was able to like go and experience all this and just really like, I don't know, just kind of his tone and everything, he seems like matured in a week <laughs> he's matured in a week literally like cuz he's not one to like always express emotions I mean he does occasionally to us and stuff but yeah. but for him to be like mom like this was like amazing and I don't know it was really cool and it just it just lets me know like that you know the risk we took to go out there and drive and try to get him in was so worth it and I I'm just excited to like hear about all of his all of his oh, experiences yeah. and stuff so i'm glad because i get to go pick him up uh, early tomorrow in yeah. the morning so i'll have like a good 45 minutes yeah. with him in the car yeah so we're yeah because we're staying like 30 minutes outside of where he's at so danny's gonna go super early and pick him up and then bring him back so they'll have the car ride to kind of talk about things and stuff so they literally like check out at like 7 a.m yeah so yeah so anyways, yeah, I just wanted to get on and kind of update you guys on that and how his time was going. And obviously when he gets back, we'll update you a little bit more because I don't really know a ton of what they've been doing. So we'll see. I'm excited to hear all about it. I've been trying just to not really bug him and just kind of let him do his thing. So anyways, we'll see you guys in a little bit. We switched off. I was getting a little tired, and uh, so Tina so kindly said that she was going to. I will do anything for you, babe. Uh, anything. So I said, all right, let's just drive up to Beaver. We're gonna stop in Beaver, and oh wait, real quick, look. Tell me if you can't see the heart. Oh. The heart right there. I can't I see, see it. it. Right there, your side of the mountain, right there. Oh, do you I guys see, see it? it? I see it. There's, there's a heart right there. Hashtag I see it. I always see that heart rock. And it and, reminds you of me. And it does. How much you love me. And it does. <laughs> and right now we're getting ready to enter the gorge. But we're going to stop in Beaver. We're going to go right through St. George. Oh, actually, you know what? We're going to stop in St. George. We're going to stop real quick, get out, take a picture in front of the temple. And then we're going to head to Beaver. And in Beaver is the infamous Beaver Taco. Where we are going to eat. There's Michelle. Mich Michelle Phillips. How do you like your new sister, Ethan? She did say your wave was nice. She did say, I did say. Go see. I never, no one ever said that we were allowed to have another kid. True. What's up, Ash? I had her. What's up, girl? Here we are in the gorge. Hello, entering the gorge. This is not a fun one to drive at night, I will say. No? No, because on our way back I drove through it, it was like almost dark. <laughs> Sounds scary. <laughs> Sounds like a scary story. So we 
are going to, we're pulling up to St. George right now. We're gonna get off real quick, just take a quick family photo over at the, um, the St. George Temple for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. We wanna try, if we can, we're gonna try to stop off at as many temples as we can along the way to, um, and just get a family picture in front of. It's gonna feel kind of weird though, because Braden's not with us, but it is what it is. He'll be on the one uh, He'll be, in Boise. Yes, if we stop at one in Boise. Salt Lake. And maybe Salt Lake. Okay, Or maybe Provo. Oh, maybe, uh, I don't know. I don't know where I want to go. Here we are, St. George Temple. It's beautiful. It's actually a nice breeze out. It is kind of hot, but yeah. And Emberlyn's excited because it's Michelle's first time here at the temple. Mm -hmm. So how is Michelle feeling about it? Good. I'm yeah? Nervous. She's a little nervous. Why? Mm. Just a picture. Look at E sporting his new kicks. Dang, boy. You're a champion. I'm a champ. You're a champ. My shirt says. Whoa, there's Ash. I, Ash, I didn't even realize you were on this trip with us. Yeah, Holy cow. Hey guys, we are at the temple right now. I'm whispering for some reason, I don't know. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> Do I need to be at the camper? I'm here. I'm here. Oh, um, we're just hanging, we're taking some pictures, vlogging, hanging out, having fun. So, yeah. You want it? We're not doing anything else. Yeah, I'm muscle man. I got tank top on. It's hot out here. It's very, very hot. So here's Ash. She's making her appearance today. We just took a picture in front of the temple and now we're gonna go inside the visitor center just to take a quick picture um, of the Christus or with the Christus. And uh, it's beautiful. Where's Michelle? Hey, Michelle. Emberlyn oh, loves Michelle. So At first you said she was ugly. <laughs> I don't think she's ugly. You guys just said that she looks horrible. Diaper on, like under her skin. So Emberlyn's loving showing Michelle around. Mm -hmm. Even, I'm just pretending that she's real. That's okay. She, you're having fun. You're gonna be a good mm -hmm. mom. You gotta I, practice, huh? Yeah, I'm just putting all these baby dolls to like pretend that like I have a family. Okay. Like,
So here we are. So we pulled off again. Sorry, I am so tired. We pulled <laughs> off again and we're stopping in Cedar City. We're pulling off to check out. We've never been here the Cedar City Temple. It's new. So we're checking it out. Look at that. Here, this neighborhood, like right outside of this temple, is this Poor temple is gorgeous. is a beautiful neighborhood. Like, I like it. this is really tempting. We're not <laughs> living like, here. Like, I say, let's yeah, go. Yeah, wow. Incredibly tempting. All right, so Danny and I switched again. <laughs> he was feeling a little car sick, so sometimes when he's in the passenger seat, he has to not be in the passenger seat and drive. So we're driving into a storm right now. Isn't that crazy? Wow, that's beautiful though. Oh my goodness. It's crazy how it's like, was totally blue skies and then as you keep driving, it's like storm. We just saw like a like a huge bolt of yeah, light. Yeah, there was lightning like right over there. All right guys, here comes the rain. <laughs> Getting into the storm. Getting into the storm, here we go. Isn't it so beautiful? Like the colors are so vibrant. I love it. All right, oh coming down my hard. God! Ah! <laughs> I hate driving in the rain, but it looks like there's blue skies up ahead, my friends. Blue skies up ahead. Oh, it does. Rain it does. drops oh, fine. No. The... What? You're right. I know. You're right. Right? Yeah. You didn't cheat this time. No. Look how beautiful though. Look at that fog. Oh my gosh. So beautiful. All right, here we are, Beaver Taco. It's kind of cool because we came here. We have a vlog where we came here and it was literally almost a year ago where it was probably our second or third vlog. So if you haven't had a chance to see that, I'll put that up here somewhere and you guys can see the difference between us now and then and how comfortable we are in front of the camera. I'm talking about when we were at Beaver last time. Oh yeah, it was like our first time vlogging. It was so weird. Yeah, crazy. So we're gonna go in. This is definitely a hot spot here in Beaver. It's probably the only spot here in Beaver. So come along with us and enjoy these tacos. What did you, you get last time? You want the steak nachos or the carne asada nachos? What's that, boys? My baby, Michelle. This is Michelle. Michelle. So, what do you guys? You guys are gonna share nachos? Hey, what did, you, did you have to get started with guacamole on the side? All right, so I just ordered two carne asada tacos. The boys ordered some carne asada nachos to share. And then Emberlyn ordered just a side of rice and beans. Ashlyn wasn't feeling very hungry, so she's opting out. And Tina got a chicken taco. So we'll go ahead and show you guys the food once it comes, but I know it's gonna be delicious. Seems kinda busy here today, but you know what? There's like no lights in here. Huh, there's like no lights. Huh? Oh, she's tired. Tina's not feeling very well. Uh, Ashlyn, she's making an appearance. She's been like, She's been like uh, hiding back behind the back seats of the She's car. She's like living the life in that car. <laughs> she puts her headphones on and boom, tunes us all out. Hey guys, Michelle. This is Amberlynn's Michelle. She's been doing good. She's not just a plastic baby. Oh, she is. No, she's Michelle, Michelle Phillips. Now leave her alone. Michelle May. Oh, Michelle May Phillips. Look at those knuckleheads over there playing Kai by the rock, paper, scissors. <laughs>
I'm thinking they're pretty good. <laughs> Ashlyn, your veil looks amazing. I know. <laughs> Wait, here. Yeah. Oh, there. <laughs> that looks so good. Are you excited about that? That's, that's because she ate like a, a full bag of Takis. Gross! Not true, because I do not like Mexican food. All right, guys, hey, what is up? Sorry, we did not get a ton of our driving because our um, battery for the camera literally died. We're still working on getting another battery for the camera for when that happens, but we are here. We are at the hotel. We got here at like, what, 11 o'clock, Ash? Yeah. 11 Utah time, and then Whoa. Danny's teeth just started hurting. He's got a cavity that's like killing him. So I just had to go run to the store and get him some aura gel to kind of help numb it. So he's kind of been in pain. So I'm closing out the vlog tonight. Um, this is our hotel room. I'll just kind of give you guys a little glimpse of what our hotel looks like. Can you say hi? Hi. It's late, huh? You got to get to bed. Anyways, this is kind of a, a little. This is a mirror. There you guys are. Say hello to yourselves. Yes. Now this will pull out into a bed for when Brayden comes. And the He'll best, sleep on here. And the best thing is you can just sit here and draw. You can draw or eat. Yeah. yeah. There's those. And then we got this room in here. This is all right. With all the boys in here sleeping on the bed. Then the girls will sleep over there. We got a little TV. There's a closet here. And then the bathroom. Yeah. And the, the shower. Good. It's a huge shower. Look at this. It should be a shower in the bathtub. It should be both, but looks like we're showering this weekend. But guys, so pretty but spacious. Little, like, there you guys are again. What's up, what's up? All right, so there you have it. We're here at the hotel. We're exhausted. The driving kind of killed us today because we took so many stops. So literally it made our made it even longer today, but we're here. We're excited to see Brayden tomorrow morning early, early, early. He has checkout time at 7 a.m. So Danny's gonna go grab him in the morning and then um, we're just gonna hang out here for the day and just kind of, I don't even know what to be honest. So, um, but of course we'll take you guys along with us tomorrow and let you know what we have been up to. Um, but other than that, guys, I'm going to go hit the sack. I'm going to bed. I'm tired. It's past midnight and uh, I'm ready to go to sleep. All right, guys. So if you haven't had the opportunity to subscribe to our channel, please do so. We would love to have you guys along for our journey. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, we would love if you guys would like this video. It really helps us out. We appreciate you guys and love you guys and are so grateful for all the support that you guys have given us. We are grateful for the consistent growth that our channel has had. Grateful for your awesome comments and all the amazing things that you guys, you know, do to motivate us and say to motivate us. We really, really appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. And uh, we will see you guys tomorrow.